Okay, you're back. Good. Hopefully you have one of these that's just like this. Maybe yours even says the Chem 110 Homework Notebook of Chemistry Awesomeness. In any case, you're back for a problem like this. Equilibrium problems from exercise 11b, chapter 11, Chem 110b, pages 177 through 180. Now the key for this kind of problem is to remember the general form for any general reaction where the little a's here are the coefficients, the big letters are the reactants and the products, and that is the equilibrium sign, which means at any one time the reactants are reacting in this direction to make the products, and then at the same time the products are recombining to go back the, the, and make the reactants. So the equilibrium reaction is written and should always stay left side reactants, right side products. And then you write the equilibrium constant K expression as the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants taken to the powers of the exponents that are related to the coefficients. Okay? So for this reaction, C concentration taken to the little c power multiplied by never added the concentration of D taken to the little d power divided by A taken to the coefficient power times concentration of B in moles per liter taken to the B power. Simple to remember, easier to do on an actual problem. Alright, so there are four reactions for you to try. I want you to hit pause, write them all out as you expect, then we'll come back and see if you did it right. Alright? Pauseify. Okay, you've deposified, you've gone through, you've tried to do this work. Please try it to do the work to see if you get it right. Because if all you do is watch, you're not going to get anything out of this. Give it a go. Okay, so it's always the concentrations of the products divided by the reactants taken to the powers of their coefficients. So K, in this case, is going to be the CO2 taken to the third power times the H2O taken to the fourth power divided by the entire reactant side which is C3H8 taken to the one power right times the O2 concentration taken to the fifth and that's all there is to it and once you get the hang of it it gets pretty simple. Products over reactants. This stuff is ozone and that's oxygen gas and during electrical storms this reaction is occurring in which oxygen gas and ozone gas are in equilibrium with each other. What next? K is equal to the product SO3 divided by the reactants SO2 and O2. But there's a problem with what I've written here. I forgot about the coefficients. You have to take the coefficients and put them as powers on the concentrations. So this is SO3 squared. O2 to the 1, SO2 squared. It's also really important that you use charges on ions if they belong. K here is equal to the products H plus 1 times F minus 1 divided by the HF concentration. Okay, and just because very little of the weak acid HF 
splits up into its individual ions. That means these concentrations will be very low. This concentration will be very high. And the little number divided by a big number makes K very small. So a small K means reactants predominate. If it's a big K value, these numbers would be big, that number would be small concentrations, which would make K really big. So the value of K tells you a little bit about the reaction. Okay, that's all for this one. Um, we have another uh, exercise in which there's a bit more complication that comes into play especially whenever we include this as a gas and not a liquid. You'll see this later. It becomes really important. And we'll see it. I think it's 11E. Okay, but for right now, this is straightforward. Get in there, get some practice.